Fazilis vulgaris, Wikipedia article audio. Fazilis vulgaris, also known as the common bean and green bean, among other names, is a herbaceous annual plant grown worldwide for its edible dry seeds or unripe fruit. The main categories of common beans, on the basis of use, are dry beans, snap beans, and shell beans. Its leaf is also occasionally used as a vegetable and the straw is fodder. Its botanical classification, along with other Phaseola species, is as a member of the legume family Fabaceae, most of whose members acquire the nitrogen they require through an association with Rhizobia, a species of nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Description the common bean is a highly variable species that has a long history of cultivation. All wild members of the species have a climbing habit, but many cultivars are classified as bush beans or pole beans, depending on their style of growth. These include the kidney bean, the navy bean, the pinto bean, and the wax bean. The other major types of commercially grown bean are the runner bean and the broad bean. Beans are grown in every continent except Antarctica. Brazil and India are the largest producers of dry beans, while China produces, by far, the largest quantity of green beans. Worldwide 23 million tons of dry common beans and 17.1 million tons of green beans were grown in 2010. Dry Beans The wild P. vulgaris is native to the Americas. It was originally believed that it had been domesticated separately in Mesoamerica and in the southern Andes region, giving the domesticated bean two gene pools. However, Recent genetic analyses show that it was actually domesticated in Mesoamerica first, and traveled south, probably along with squash and maize. The three Mesoamerican crops constitute the three sisters central to indigenous North American agriculture. Green Beans and Wax Beans The common bean is a highly variable species with a long history. Bush varieties form erect bushes 20-60 cm tall, while pole or running varieties form vines 2-3 m long. All varieties bear alternate, green, or purple leaves, which are divided into three oval, smooth-edged leaflets, each 6-15 cm long and 3-11 cm wide. The white, pink, or purple flowers are about 1 cm long and they give way to pods 820 cm long and 11.5 cm wide. These may be green, yellow, black, or purple in color, each containing 4-6 beans. The beans are smooth, plump, kidney-shaped, up to 1.5 cm long, range widely in color, and are often modeled in two or more colors. Shelling beans As the name implies, snap beans break easily when the pod is bent, giving off a distinct audible snap sound. The pods of snap beans are harvested when they are rapidly growing, fleshy, tender, bright in color, and the seeds are small and underdeveloped. Raw or undercooked beans contain a toxic protein called phytohemagglutinin. Popping beans Similar to other beans, the common bean is high in starch, protein, and dietary fiber, and is an excellent source of iron, potassium, selenium, molybdenum, thiamine, vitamin B6, and folate. Toxicity Dry beans will keep indefinitely if stored in a cool, dry place but as time passes, their nutritive value and flavor degrade and cooking times lengthen. Dried beans are almost always cooked by boiling, often after being soaked in water for several hours. While the soaking is not strictly necessary, 
it shortens cooking time and results in more evenly textured beans. In addition, soaking beans removes 5 to 10 percent of the gas producing sugars that can cause flatulence for some people. The methods include simple overnight soaking and the power soak method in which beans are boiled for 3 minutes and then set aside for 2-4 hours. Before cooking, the soaking water is drained off and discarded. Dry common beans take longer to cook than most pulses, cooking times vary from 1 to 4 hours, but are substantially reduced with pressure cooking. In Mexico, Central America, and South America, the traditional spice used with beans is epizote, which is also said to aid digestion. In East Asia, a type of seaweed, kombu, is added to beans as they cook for the same purpose. Salt, sugar, and acidic foods such as tomatoes may harden uncooked beans resulting in seasoned beans at the expense of slightly longer cooking times. Cultivars slash varieties Production Other uses Dry beans may also be bought cooked and canned as refried beans, or whole with water, salt, and sometimes sugar. The three commonly known types of green beans are, string or snap beans, which may be round or have a flat pod, stringless or French beans, which lack a tough, fibrous string running along the length of the pod, and runner beans, which belong to a separate species, Phaseolus coccinus. Green beans may have a purple rather than green pod, which changes to green when cooked. Wax beans are P. vulgaris beans that have a yellow or white pod. Wax bean cultivars are commonly grown, the plants are often of the bush form. Compared to dry beans, green and wax beans provide less starch and protein and more vitamin A and vitamin C. Green beans and wax beans are often steamed, boiled, stir-fried, or baked in casseroles. Shell, shelled or shelling beans are beans removed from their pods before being cooked or dried. Common beans can be used as shell beans, but the term also refers to other species of beans whose pods are not typically eaten, such as lima beans, soybeans, peas, and fava beans. Fresh shell beans are nutritionally similar to dry beans, but are prepared more like a vegetable, often being steamed fried, or made into soups. The nuna is an Andean subspecies, P. v. subsp. nunas, with round, multicolored seeds that resemble pigeon eggs. When cooked on high heat, the bean explodes, exposing the inner part, in the manner of popcorn and other puffed grains. The toxic compound phytohemagglutinin, a lectin, is present in many common bean varieties, but is especially concentrated in red kidney beans. White kidney beans contain about a third as much toxin as the red variety, broad beans contain 5 to 10 percent as much as red kidney beans. Phytohemagglutinin can be deactivated by cooking beans for 10 minutes at boiling point. Insufficient cooking such as in a slow cooker at 80 degrees C slash 176 degrees Fahrenheit, however, is not sufficient to deactivate all toxin to safely cook the beans. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration recommends boiling for 30 minutes to ensure they reach a sufficient temperature for long enough to completely destroy the toxin. For dry beans, the FDA also recommends an initial soak of at least 5 hours in water which should then be discarded. Outbreaks of poisoning have been associated with cooking kidney beans in slow cookers. The primary symptoms of phytohemagglutinin poisoning are nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Onset is from 1 to 3 hours after consumption of improperly prepared beans and symptoms typically resolve within a few hours. 
consumption of as few as four or five raw, soaked kidney beans can cause symptoms. Canned red kidney beans, though, are safe to use immediately. Beans are high in purines, which are metabolized to uric acid. Uric acid is not a toxin as such, but may promote the development or exacerbation of gout. So people with gout have been advised in the past to limit their consumption of beans. However, more recent research has questioned this association, finding that moderate intake of purine-rich foods is not associated with increased risk of gout. Many well-known bean cultivars slash varieties belong to this species, and none of the lists below is in any way exhaustive. Both bush and running cultivars slash varieties exist. The colors and shapes of pods and seeds vary over a wide range. In 2010, total world production of dry beans was 23 million metric tons, harvested from over 30 million hectares. World production of green beans in 2010 was 17.7 million ton, harvested from 15.1 million hectares. Bean leaves have been used to trap bed bugs in houses. Microscopic hairs on the bean leaves entrap the insects. From ancient times, beans were used as device in various methods of divination. Fortune telling using beans is called favomancy. Footnotes <laughs>